And welcome into America's Retirement Headquarters. I'm Nolan Baker. It's good to have you along with us. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our investment methodology. And actually we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the independent income system. Within the independent income system, we have a variety of different buckets of money that we talk about, such as current income, reliable income, midterm bucket, long-term growth, and emergency assets. In this particular episode, we're going to talk a little bit more specifically about the long-term bucket of money, and we're going to talk about the defined investment process that we utilize. This particular case, we have a process that we coined the Freedom Formula at our office. Let's take a little closer look at how that investment approach works. So using a formula-based investment approach, you can have a defined strategy to identify specific stocks that you would want to own in a portfolio that helps you determine why you want to buy those stocks, how long you hold on to those stocks, and what would be the reason to sell those stocks. So instead of relying upon just maybe your gut instinct, having a defined investment strategy might be something that you want to consider in your investment approach. Let's just give you an example of how you could define an investment strategy. We could take the S&P 500 index as an example. Now you can invest directly into the S&P 500 index, but we know the 500 stocks that are made up into that portfolio. You could take a look at a couple of different years, for example, 2008. We know in 2008, the S&P 500 index, you know, had a very poor year and overall finished the year down about 37%. In 2009, the S&P 500 index had a pretty good year and was able to increase by 26%. It's fair to say that roughly half of the stocks in 2008 did not go down as much as the other half. And then in 2009, it's also fair to say that some of the stocks performed better than the group as a whole. By using a defined investment process, what we're trying to do is trying to identify the higher quality basket of stocks that are better able to accomplish the goals and objectives of what our clients are taking a look at. As an example, if we took the S&P 500 index, what we could do is we could look at the financial health of companies. By financial health, what I'm looking at is how much debt do they have, how much revenue do they have coming in the door, and say how much money do they have in the bank. All of this information is public information, then we could take and we could look at them that maybe the top half of the group we could eliminate the bottom half of the group. The next thing that we could do is we could look at momentum. It really doesn't matter how good a stock is, unless nobody buys it, the price doesn't move. So we wanna look at the most traded stocks to the least traded stocks, and again, you could eliminate the bottom half of the group. The final thing that you could do as an investor is you could look at dividend paying stocks. So dividend paying stocks are stocks that could generate predictable current cash flow for somebody who needs a regular income stream, maybe somebody that's close to her in retirement time. You could rank these stocks based upon the highest dividend paying stocks to the lowest, and then pick the basket of stocks that meet that criteria. That is just one example of a very defined investment approach. You could take that a step further. This particular chart here, what it shows is a traditional asset allocation style box diversification. So up top, you have large companies, medium companies, small companies, and international. Over here you have growth, value, and in the middle is a blend. You could apply a mathematical criteria like the strategy that we use at the office called Freedom Formula to identify stocks that meet a predetermined set of rules on why you want to buy those stocks. Freedom Formula in particular is made up of 120 stocks that meet that criteria. By utilizing this approach, you have a much better handle on what you own, the reasons that you own it, and how long those investments are gonna be held. As an example, you could take a look at rebalancing this portfolio on a yearly basis. So once a year, you could reapply a screen and filter to it to identify if those are still the 120 stocks that you wanna own. Any stock who doesn't meet that criteria would be a reason that maybe you would move on and look at replacing that stock with another one. If you wanted to have guardrails, or what we also refer to as circuit breakers on a portfolio, you can also apply technical analysis to the portfolio. So is the economy technically improving, or technically do things look like there could be trouble ahead? As things technically turn negative, you could also apply a predetermined formula that would 
tell you when to sell and reduce stock positions to go to more of a defensive strategy to trying to protect the portfolio against significant losses. Freedom Formula has multiple circuit breakers and guardrails in place on the portfolio. I'd love to have a conversation with you, walk you through the portfolio a little bit more, see if this is a particular strategy that might apply to your situation. If you'd like to have a conversation, talk to me or somebody on our investment team, all you need to do is give us a call here at America's Retirement Headquarters at 419-842-0550 and ask me about the Freedom Formula and we'd be happy to have a conversation with you.